Chu Berberka, Chom Ayu Yusip Pika, Chom Matak Patit Molenka, Chom Matak Muang Havataka, Chom Cho Ahan Taika. Welcome to my vlog! <laughs> you about my experience in Thailand. Before I entered this minor CBT, which stands for community-based tourism, I already finished my high school in Meppel. After that I chose to be in the service industry and this is the reason why I chose to be in uh, the hospitality industry. I love to be a host and be friendly to everyone and make them feel com comfortable. And therefore this also relates to uh, this minor. Due to the fact I'm, that I'm already for three weeks in Thailand, I can tell you about the main differences between the Thai and the Western culture. Uh, first of all, I think the main difference is that the Thai people are very friendly and have patience uh, in order to help you. And I already experienced this uh, while traveling to Koh Chang. Um, I was kind of lost and was on the street and I did not know where to go. And without even asking and without speaking actually one English word, um, they were so willing to help me and uh, help to find my way. And this really um, actually describes the Thai culture because they take their time. And within the Western culture, if you do ask someone uh, what way to go, actually you're already disturbing someone. So you rather not do it, you rather find it on your mobile phone or go yeah, have a look by yourself. And I, actually, I really admire this in Thai people uh, that they have the patience to help you and they stay friendly and take the time. What I admire in Thai people is um, that they give value to indirect communication. So body language is very important. And Thai people will not always say what they think, um, but they will say um, everything with respect and dignity. And therefore this is very important because this, in the Western culture we always say what we think and sometimes this will be too direct and we cannot adapt to the wants and needs or the culture of someone else. And in here they can, they look at your body language, they look at also what you're saying, but indirect communication is very, um, has a very great role. So at last I do admire um, that every Thai local uh, admires the royal family, the Thai institutions, the government. And actually I think it's quite important because in here you have different cultures and habits. And therefore you need something um, that all Thai people stick together and that they're together willing to working on and to believe and to follow their values and norms. Because in Holland for example it's normal to make funny of the Dutch king. We make even videos and even the king can laugh about those videos. But I think with different cultures and habits within the company, within the country, it is actually quite important to have something um, to which everyone can relate on. And I do admire this um, in the Thai people. So in the end, I hope to learn uh, friendliness and patience from Thai people. And in order to fulfill this, I have to um, adapt to their cultures and listening to um, what their motive, motives are. Um, furthermore, I will have my, I'm looking forward for my personal development and in what way I will react to those cultural differences and what I will do in order to explore them more. Um, because with CBT, I think you explore Thailand in its best and give a real insight in their lives, in their communities. Because um, you have to tra travel far enough in order to meet yourself. With this statement, I would like to end this vlog. Uh, thank you for listening. Yini tirai sak. Latot.